hitting the markets over in Asia this morning. Okay, what else do we jump to? Boy, we, we got to talk about uh, the man Elon Musk. Doesn't day go by that he's not in the headlines. But if you're an investor in any of the companies that he's uh, making headlines in, man, he is moving stocks in a big way. So Musk rejects Twitter's offer to join the board in a surprise twist. Uh, so turn down the offer. The Twitter CEO was tweeting. Uh, he was m going to take over. Let's see if they have the whole. It was, it was the April 9th. Yeah, here is the whole post that he had in here. Uh, Elon's appointment to the board was to become effective April 9th, but Elon shared that same morning that he will no longer be joining the board. I believe this is for the best. And if you saw Elon out there, man, um, Saturday night he was out there tweeting that nobody even goes to Twitter's headquarters, so why not turn it into a homeless shelter? By that point, he had already conveyed, I guess, his opinion that he was not joining the board. Makes a little bit more sense that he was out there tweeting that Saturday night because, man, some of my friends and I were just chatting about you know, a board member tweeting Saturday night, Saturday night, Elon feeling all right, man. What was going on Saturday night as a board member to be tweeting out? Maybe they turn their headquarters into a homeless shelter because nobody shows up. Nonetheless, Elon was on a tear. He had already expressed his opinion that he was not joining the board. We find that out today. Uh, the saga continues. We jump over to Twitter, TWTR, Twitter down only a dollar. Now, boy, this is going to be interesting to see how this shakes out because he is still the largest shareholder of Twitter, and maybe he's got bigger plans with Twitter than just being a board member that agreed to not take more than a 14.9% stake. I mean, folks, Twitter, their entire market cap is $36 billion. Elon could buy the um, entire 51% voting shares for, what, $19 billion. That's nothing to Elon at all. Uh, so this story is not yet done yet. We will see where it goes, but nonetheless, another curve in the road for Twitter shares. Um, and boy, if you're trading that one, man, you know, options are gonna be pricey with this much volatility, but beware of headlines coming down the pipeline that may move this equity in one way or the other, folks, because boy, if you thought things were gonna be smooth sailing with Elon, then you have not been paying attention, man. Um, I mean. We almost gave it all back from that pop it had from 40 bucks up to 55, we'll call it, 54.94. On the news that Elon was stepping down, you spiked to 42.66. We're only down a dollar, and you're down a dollar when the market's down a percent. So basically, Twitter just negative with the market right now. Maybe you see that even trade higher on this news with the potential that he's not going to be a board member because guess what? Maybe he's going to be buying the company. Maybe he's going to have more uh, impact on the company as an activist investor to put it lightly but nonetheless twitter shares in the press again 45 50 and again you take a look at this thing on a longer term basis all right you back it up on a daily quite the slide we had to negative prices here now just taking out of curiosity the full fibonacci run you had i love the 618s folks check it out from the run it had lower prices from 68 dollars down to 31 what kind of a pop did we get right to the 618 almost to the tick man 5405 was the Fibonacci, and we make it to 54.57, and since then we're down about nine dollars from that high, man. We're trading right now 45.42 for Twitter shares. Let's jump around to some of the Fang stocks this morning. Amazon is out there. I think they're raising some capital. I saw some of the headlines. I'll pull up a headline. Uh, if you're going to be going to the market for capital, might as well go now, man. Interest rates probably going up. Amazon shares down with the market by about 40 bucks this morning. Apple shares down about two dollars at 168.31 this morning we jumped to microsoft shares trading down about four bucks to 292 we'll finish it up with google shares google shares standing down uh 26.50 right now stay tuned folks we got a lot to talk about shopify they're going to be splitting 10 for one we'll be right back Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. 
First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. We get the S&Ps negative 29 points right now. NASDAQ 100 off 1.1% right now. So jumping back to the headline that I referenced here, and let me pull this up. Uh, so the NASDAQ 100 loses $1 trillion in value again. Now, we get the market with the NASDAQ 100 down an additional 1.1% today. Now, this was talking about uh, $1 trillion in the past four session sessions alone. That is a substantial amount of money that I don't need to explain to you folks, uh, and it has to do with rising yields, all right? This chart, I just want to pull up here. You got in black, that is the 10-year Treasury yield. I talked today, we're at 2.75% right now. It is remarkable that we were at 1.7% in early March, and we're at 2.75%, let alone that we're at 1.4% coming into where we were in December. We came into 2022 at about 1.5%. And just like that, we have added a point and a quarter, folks. A point and a quarter has been added to the 10-year. Uh, you take a look at the route it had, whether it was from January, where we went, no, yes, or just the last four sessions, $1 trillion. Uh, it's going to be a dicey one today as well. Yields continuing to rise and tech stocks continuing to get hit in a big way. Uh, let's jump to Amazon. So this one's an interesting one. Article out here on Bloomberg talking about this is their big take talking about the drone crashes have hit Jeff Bezos' delivery dream. So Bezos and Musk, two richest men in the world, they both have grand aspirations. Uh, they both have overpromised to a certain degree. I almost don't even want to throw Bezos in there with Elon with, with the the promises and aspirations he talks about. But boy, you talk about it in terms of drones, really remarkable to think that Bezos, because I remember, this uh, story, 2013, he was on 60 Minutes, and he said, he gave himself some time, man, that he wanted to have drones filling the skies, dropping pa uh, parcels off to customers within 30 minutes. When asked how long that would take, the founder said he expected drone deliveries to commence in the next five years or thereabouts. It's a pretty reasonable timeline. You'd imagine in 2013, not so much the case. We're almost 10 years later, and it's not happening. The amount of money they've spent 
really not that much money in terms of the value that that type of service would provide for a company like Amazon that's pushing, what, $1.5, $1.6 trillion, I think. I'll pull it up in a moment. Uh, after a decade later, despite spending more than $2 billion, that's really not a lot over 10 years when you think about it. They've got a 1,000 people working on it. Uh, that would tell me that they're actually not as close as they want to be because if they could spend the money and make it happen they would be two billion dollars is nothing to amazon uh nonetheless it's not happening um they just talk about there's been some accidents that have already happened uh yeah serious crash in june prompted federal regulators to question the drone's airworthiness because of multiple safety features failed and machines careened out of control causing a bushfire in one instance Um, Amazon plans to ramp up testing in the coming months. Be interesting to see when this turns a corner, though, because even if it's three to five years from right now, folks, it is going to change the world when we don't have Amazon delivery trucks everywhere. I mean, we're, we all know they're everywhere, folks. They're in every neighborhood. And at some point in time, that's not going to happen. OK, it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when that when is just taking a lot longer than, of course, Bezos would like. Uh, Amazon plans to ramp up testing in coming months, having missed a goal of conducting twenty five hundred test flights last year. According to documents, the company has set an even loftier target of twelve thousand for 2022, although fewer than two hundred had been completed as late as February. So they get those some lofty goals and you know, see if they live up to them. The company plans to add new testing locations this year in College Station, Texas, about 100 miles northeast of Austin and in California near Stockton. Uh, Amazon also hopes to start testing drones beyond the site of flight observers, a key step toward proving their ability to fly autonomously. And as they say, it's going to be years before the FAA approves commercial drone deliveries, although the agency is letting companies conduct test flights in increasingly populated areas so long as they don't pose significant safety risks. It's going to be interesting to see how this one shakes out, but they're behind the eight ball and especially interesting. I don't think many people would have remembered that in 2013, Bezos said that they're going to have drones delivering packages everywhere within uh, five years. So much for that. That was four years ago. I'd say they're doing just fine, though. You know, it's an amusing story. I went to Sun and Fun uh, Aerospace Expo in Lakeland this weekend. Absolutely awesome time. Uh, credit to all those people that put on that expo, to the pilots flying those planes, the men and women flying those planes. Man, some absolutely amazing aerobatics going on in some of those planes. And they had the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds out there. Man, that was amazing seeing those things in person. Uh, one of the interesting things about it is that they were saying over the speaker, okay, and I'll see if I can get some of the videos up here. Maybe we'll throw a video up here later in the show of some of those Thunderbirds, man. So if you get a chance, folks, go. Bring your kids. We brought the kids. Uh, it was an awesome show for the parents, let alone the kids. <clears throat> uh, but what was interesting was that part of the deal they have, they're at an airport in Lakeland, is that they will not disrupt commercial aviation of any kind um, or something to that degree, right? They just don't take over the airport because that would be too disruptive to the airport's normal uh, business, which is too important to the area. One of the things that is very important to that area is that Amazon has quite a hub going on there. So what would happen was is that you would have uh, it went from 1.30 till 5 yesterday, and this was a multi-day event. They had something Saturday night as well. Folks, if it comes back, if you're near Lakeland, if you get a chance to see the Thunderbirds at any time, check it out. It was really amazing. And so what would happen was is they would have the different planes going up. They would be doing their thing in the air. And then occasionally in between the different planes going up, you'd have an Amazon cargo plane go up that would take off. Nothing stops Bezos from delivering those packages, man. I was cracking up. Nonetheless, amazing show. Um, yeah, to put it lightly, but Amazon planes taken off between almost uh, every other performance out there. Gotta love it. All right, let's jump back to what else we have going on. We'll jump back to some of the stocks that are moving this morning. So I talked about Shopify. Let's get Shopify up here. Where are we on Shopify? All right, where are we? I had the article up here, but nonetheless, Shopify, they're going 10 for one. Okay, what they're also doing is they're creating a new founder share. Yeah, good for them. That's going to increase the CEO's voting power to 40% from 34%. How about that? You do a 10 for 1 split and you up the CEO's control to 40% from 34. Now, I was reading about this this morning and TFNN uses Shopify, folks, as our website. Uh, it's an absolutely awesome platform. They've accelerated higher during the pandemic. They've pulled back pretty harshly. Uh, multiples not living up to which they, would want, which they once were. 
There's your pop on the split. You are positive by about 10 bucks when you get the market negative this morning. But interesting that they decide to split 10 for one here at pre-COVID prices, folks, of 600 bucks after trading all the way up to almost $1,800. Uh, that is weakness in my opinion, folks, okay? You're gonna try and split at 600 when you were trading at 1800 almost? Yes, they're going for the retail appeal. I don't blame them. Everybody's doing it lately. Uh, but if they were so concerned with that, why didn't do it when things are going well? They're doing it when things are not going well. And a stock split's not going to save this company, folks. And all I'll say about um, the owner shares, I mean, that's not how things are supposed to work. It's a new trend. I mean, Facebook, Zuckerberg controls the whole company, basically. Uh, they only do it if they can get away with it. And if you're going to keep buying Shopify shares and you're going to let the CEO control 40% of the company without owning 40% of the company, they're going to do it in perpetuity. But it's not really in the best interest of investors, in my opinion. And we'll leave it at that. But, hey, I don't blame them for doing it if they can get away with it. Stay tuned, folks. It's going to be an interesting open. we got the NASDAQ 100 down 1.1% right now. s and is negative by 28 points. Stay tuned. We'll be right back for the opening bell. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
And welcome back, folks. We got markets open. You got the S&P right now down 28 points. That's six tenths percent. NASDAQ 100 down about 1.1 percent. You're negative 161 points, 14,160. You got the Dow off 100 points right now, 34,517. Uh, we do have some of the equities that I did reference, folks. Walmart's been on quite a tear, man. Walmart. Again, up a quarter percent today. Folks, if you are trying to get into some equities, man, pay attention to the ones that are succeeding right now when the market is accelerating lower. Because Walmart, I mean, check out this move. We do have some Walmart in my newsletter, folks. Rocket equities and options. You got this thing at a COVID low of about 102. You chop around a consolidation between about 135 and 152, we'll call it, for the better part of a year and a half from August of 2020, basically until we just broke out of it right now. Now, the interesting part about it as well is that consolidation correlated right to the 382. Look how close you came on many occasions to that 382. And man, quite a couple weeks for Walmart to the upside. Uh, McDonald's also in my newsletter. I've talked about the Confluence area McDonald's. They've been trading higher. We've had uh, Verizon. Another strong company catching a little bit of a bid, even though it pulled back last year substantially. Uh, nonetheless, some strong companies performing. Verizon up six tenths percent. Again, pay attention to some of these companies, man. All right, jumping over to Shopify just to finish that conversation. So Shopify trades lower, even on their news of splitting. The one thing I just want to pull up here. So the proposal is going to cement 40 percent of votes for the founder and the one caveat there is that he will give up his founder shares if he's no longer with the company as an executive director or consultant uh, and he would not be allowed to transfer those to anyone else so it's meant to make sure that the founder can keep control uh, he would also forfeit the special share of his ownership stake including family family members and affiliates drops below 30 percent of the number of class b shares they have today nonetheless the whole idea is folks that each share has a vote and this whole deal of uh, each share has different kinds of votes in the long term I don't know if it's very healthy in, in the general idea now I completely understand that they want to make sure the founders have complete control okay and sometimes that is best for the company but in general ownership is supposed to represent voting and that's kind of shifting in a big way all right what else we got going on let me get this one up uh, Speaking of Amazon, the big dog, I talked about it, and here's the article. So Amazon, they're kicking off a jumbo seven-part bond sale, including 40-year debt. The funds can go to repaying debt, share buybacks, and acquisitions. Uh, last sold debt in May when it offered $18.5 billion. So the online retailer is selling senior unsecured bonds in as many as seven parts. The longest portion, a 40-year security that may yield 1.55 percentage points over treasuries. I would say your money is almost as safe as treasuries, folks, and don't trade off that, okay? Because if you're getting any yield over a treasury, you have risk, no matter what, okay? Uh, the likes of General Electric going, you know, far off from where it was under Jack Welsh and all that stuff, you know, giant companies of one generation does not necessarily translate to giant companies of another, let alone I am a huge Amazon bull, okay? 1.55 percentage points seems like a pretty decent deal in terms of how secure your money probably is. And it's not a bad deal for Amazon either uh, in terms of raising that money. They last tapped the debt markets when they sold $18.5 in May. Uh, the 40-year security on that deal, price to yield 95 basis points over treasuries. And yeah, I would say that uh, this has to do with their aspirations, folks. Amazon's got big aspirations in a big way. And, uh, yeah, they do have some political risk, Duffy, for sure. But political risk in going BK and not paying the, the, the debt they have, I don't know if I see that happening. Of course, it is a risk, folks. Um, but I don't see that playing out at all. And, you know, over in the YouTube Tiger's Den section, you know, Wilson, you're saying, I, I don't know if I buy that drone story. I'm not sure what you're not buying, man. Um, you know, it's, it's skepticism is, is a real deal. But if there's one thing that Bezos is about, it's about delivering products on the process side of their retail sec um, business okay you got aws which is a whole nother animal okay but the reason why amazon is so successful is because bezos figured out right off the bat that they needed to deliver products faster and more consistently than anybody else and that's what made him the richest man in the world until elon um, took him out of that position 
I can't remember what year I joined Prime. I want to say 2009, 2010, 2011, something like that. And I remember joining it at the time. They didn't have Prime Video. They didn't have anything else. Prime was literally just deliveries. And you could pay for free delivery two to three days, I think. I think it was free two-day delivery. Another great perk of that was that you could pay something like six bucks for overnight. And at the time, I was purchasing a number of items online. And most of the time during that time of our existence, uh, you had to pay 15 or 20 bucks to get something delivered just because that's what happened, folks. If you're getting sneakers delivered or something like that, you're paying 10, 15 bucks because back then companies just had to pass that shipping cost along to customers. So I said to myself, hold on, I got to pay 80 bucks and I can get stuff delivered all year long. I only got to buy like four or five things and I make it back. I signed up instantly. A brilliant deal. And of course, he's come with overnight delivery. I just told you the story in Lakeland that they're taking off in between um, fighter pilots at the airport, right? Cargo planes, every one of them, Amazon Prime on the side of it. He understands that's the future, okay? Pro, it's a matter of when, not a matter of if. The fact they're raising money for their aspirations, folks, in the long term, uh, it is going to happen. Yeah, I, I got Amazon deliveries every other day to Duffy. It's pretty amazing. Um, so take it for what it's worth. But drones are coming, folks. They are coming. Amazon's raising more money. They got big aspirations. They need the money to do it. Um, going to be interesting to see how that plays out. But, boy, with yields rising, <clears throat> it's coming. And yeah, it's it does seem. A lot of time, a lot of gas. Time in particular, folks. Time is one thing you can't get back. Excuse me. And you think about, uh, I've used Instacart many times. I've talked about Instacart. It is expensive, okay? If you do it in perpetuity, if you do it every single time, it adds a lot of costs. Excuse me. One. Still battling over a little bit of a cold. Uh, but what does happen is time is valuable, folks. OK, and as somebody with a few kids in the house, a family, shopping is something that is very time consuming. And at some point, that time is valuable to you. And you're getting a lot of services that can make up for that time. And that's that's just never stopping, man, in a big way. And Amazon's at the forefront of it. Uh, and those drones are coming, man. They're coming whether you like it or not. Uh, it is a matter of when, not a matter of if. But be prepared for people to be over promising not surprising there as well amazon down 1.2 percent right now at 3051 here's what i'll say about amazon you're looking to get an amazon man you get back down to 2800 you get back down below 3000 i could easily look at adding to it yes there's a possibility i would say the lowest it goes is 2449 now that's the lowest it goes as is as a trader and investor folks the lowest it could go is it could go zero all right, that's the bottom line, just like I talked about, uh, speaking theoretically somewhat, you know, but you get back down to this 618, you get back down to that first thrust up you got in April, man. Amazon, I mean, it is really tough to imagine how some of these companies compete with Amazon. The reason why I have some Walmart in my newsletter, Rocket Equities and Options, folks, is because they might be the only ones that can do it. And they're doing it at about one fourth of the value of Amazon shares. You jump over to the Analyze tab, we jump down, you're talking about a company in Walmart valued at only, only $434 billion. Well, yeah, it's only $434 billion compared to Amazon, $1.5 trillion, but guess what? Amazon, we're gonna talk about this when we get back. Because AWS is 45% of that market cap as put by Thinkorswim. Stay tuned folks, we'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We get the S&Ps negative by 38 points right now. Market sliding a bit on the open. Your S&Ps down about 9 tenths percent. NASDAQ 100 off 1.4 percent right now. You jump to Amazon shares down about 7 tenths percent right now. You got Apple shares down 1.5 percent right now. Microsoft shares down 2.5 percent right now. Google shares down 1.1 percent right now. Uh, if you head on over to YouTube, folks, uh, here is TFNN. You can follow along uh, the videos that we have. Now, I'm bringing this up. Uh, my dad has uh, one of his business partners in real estate, Besru Bihuli, on his program on Fridays. I encourage you to check it out. Now, head on over to, TF to YouTube. Uh, you can search TFNN. You can subscribe for free. we got 11,100 subscribers over there for our videos. If you go to the videos tab, everything we do, folks, is archived right there. Now, I bring it up because I encourage you to check out the Friday article. They were doing a uh, Friday video of my dad's program. They were doing some great stuff on real, fit, real estate. Best fit on there, providing some great knowledge for real estate. Uh, my dad's a little bearish on the real estate right now, especially from an investor perspective. If you haven't checked it out, I encourage you to check that out and check out the archive. I bring that up because an interesting article over here uh, talking about here we go, talking about the housing. Now this is just the Bloomberg five things you need to know. And one of the things they reference here is they talk about one of the odd lots podcasts that they have going on. And one of the things they talk about here was the subject of the state of housing with mortgages nationally near 5%. We get into both the macro and the micro. Now I have not listened to that podcast, but here's what I wanna comment on is the two charts they have up here. Now, first you have housing starts and housing completions, okay? Now, this chart, let me expand it, goes all the way back to 2002. And you can see that they trade pretty much in harmony, right? A little bit of separation there in 2008 as things got a little bit funky uh, towards the housing crisis. As things came out of that, though, you see them pretty much trading, not trading, right? Pretty much uh, tied together, for lack of a better term, in my mind right now. COVID causes a little bit of craziness, but what I want to point out here is that you got housing starts going up. And you got completion stagnant, okay? And what they say is here, no matter how many housing, uh, home builders can start as many homes as they want, but if there's a scarcity of lumber or labor or anything else, the homes won't actually get built. And that's what we're seeing in this chart when there's a clear difference in the direction between the two lines, the like of which we really don't see over the previous 20 years. Take that one first, okay? So housing's getting a uh, little bit difficulty with the 
basically materials, one of those materials being labor, to build a house. Now, here's the next one that really woke me up, though. KB Homes, okay? What you have here is you have the, lift, the last price in white. That is their share price, okay? And then you have the book value which is the yellow line here. So share price is obviously more volatile than the book value, okay? But, and just hear this one out. The upshot is with the company now trading below book, okay, you see that drop, trading below book, the white is their share price dropping below book value, okay? Here we go. The second I'm going to start this off because it's important. The white line is the share price. The yellow line is the book. As you can see, the company is trading below the value of its assets, land, unsold, or partially built homes. Okay. The upshot is, with the company now trading below book, that the company may be expected to take write-downs on its assets. This seems wild because of this chart in particular, among any other things, right? Houses aren't even getting completed. Okay, so you would think that the housing market should be doing so well if they're having trouble, even having housing on the market right now. Demand for housing still seemingly sky high, but with interest rates having soared recently and supply chains not having improved significantly, at least in the housing realm, the builders could face a situation where by the time the homes are actually completed and available, the demand may have taken a significant hit simply due to affordability alone just keep that on your radar folks now you pull up kb homes they were positive a little bit ago and they are they're positive by about 1.3 percent right now you put this thing on a daily it's been quite a slide you start off the year at 44 you're at 31 you make it up to 50 on their earnings early in january we take a little bit of a longer term look at kb uh and you are back to i mean you know you can pick a point in this chart where you're back to man let's back it up even further than that let's go back on the monthly right it's not exactly a lot of strength if you look at this chart right now at 31 bucks. Um, that's why I talked about, I encourage you folks, if you haven't been over to our YouTube channel, please head on over there, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you get some notifications when we have things going on. You get notifications when we go live and you can check out, okay? Now you don't have to subscribe to our YouTube channel to, to uh, watch that video but i encourage you to check it out it was a great program with my dad and best friend on friday uh talking real estate he made some great points out there and i would go check it out folks we'll, we'll leave it at that and you know listen if you are a home buyer that's a different story man because rents are going up okay you're going to be paying rent anyway don't sell your house right now if you got to live in it okay but if you're an investor now might not be the time to be upping the ante, okay? Now might be the time to be selling a little bit. And I'll let you listen to my dad's program from Friday. It was a great program. Check it out, folks. Head on over to the YouTube channel. Now, in terms of TFNN, folks, if you haven't ch checked out the Tigers Den yet, what are you doing? For those over to YouTube, please come check it out, man. You can still be in the YouTube chat. We got a great conversation going on over in the Tigers Den. Uh, Tigers out there. Sometimes overnight, okay, but really things get going at about 7 in the morning. There's a lot of chat in there. People are talking about trading. They're talking about uh, even last night we had some Tigers in there talking about shortening the S&Ps when they were opening. So after hours, it is a little active. But, man, from 7 in the morning until about 4 o'clock at least, there is a very active uh, group in there. They're chatting. We got 90 active Tigers in there right now as I speak. Head on over to the front page of TFNN. Sign up for the Tigers Den Trading Room and... Two days from right now, the opening call, our man Basil Chapman, he's got a live webinar. This is going to be the first webinar that we'll be doing uh, on our Discord server. Now, if you're an opening call subscriber, we've sent out a couple emails to you. You do need to join the Discord server to be able to attend. It's free if you're an opening call subscriber. Uh, if you haven't gotten that email, folks, feel free to email myself, Tommy at TFNN.com. You can always email sales at TFNN.com. You can email our man Jacob at TFNN.com, who's doing just an outstanding job of uh, administering and keeping track of the room. Uh, just an amazing job, Jacob, seriously. Uh, but this is going to be awesome, folks. It's 90 minutes. Basil's going to be in there live with subscribers. If you haven't checked out the opening call, folks, go over to the webpage, sign up. Basil's coming up in 10 minutes. He'll be live. By the time he's live, you'll be a subscriber. You'll be able to view his 
update this morning. I'm, I'm even going to pull up at this break, folks, to give you a quick glimpse of the archive webinars you have access to. I think there's eight or ten of them in the archive section that you can check out, along with the one that we'll be doing on Wednesday. Uh, and all subscribers to any TFNN product, we do gain free access to the Tiger's Den. It's going to be a great time, folks. I encourage you to check it out. And again, if you are an opening call subscriber, uh, please join the Den because you're going to have to do it. And please don't rush in at four o'clock on Wednesday, folks, because you know I'll be in there. Jacob will be in there. Our man Al's going to be in there. Um, but if we get, you know, 20 or 50 signups at 3.59 p.m. on Wednesday, we can't get you all in that room instantly. We'll get you all in there 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes or so. But please check it out a uh, little bit ahead of time. Our man Baz in there. And we're going to talk about this one, man, because I like his title. Uh, we'll be right back, folks, to finish up. Stay tuned. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We get the S&Ps negative by 33 points right now. Jumping around to one of the other stories going on this morning. So AT&T uh, finishes their spinoff of Warner Brothers Discovery. So this is the first time that Warner Brothers Discovery is trading today. You see the little bit of volatility, man. Now, Deutsche Bank, I think, was out saying they were one of the top picks out there. Uh, 2366 up to 2626. We've backed off a bit. You're at 2535. You jump over to AT&T. That is the separation from 24 there as you got a spinoff going on. AT&T up actually 5.2% technically from where they started 1918 right now. Uh, 
these charts look a little bit funky when you put it on because of the drop off you have for that spin off. Nonetheless, see how that plays out. Okay, and uh, jumping around, where was I leaving off? Come on, shame on me. Because I was going to finish that conversation that we were talking about. Uh, ah, Mr. Basil Chapman, perfect. So the headline of what he's talking about, folks, this is the title. With higher interest rates, soaring commodities, and warring nations, is it possible for the stock market to make new all-time highs in 2022? He said six different points in there that he'll be talking about. And I did say that I was going to have those uh, archive webinars up. And give me one second, folks, because, you know, I'm very fortunate working at TFNN that I get to attend all of this stuff myself, folks. And here is the archive section of what Mr. Basil Chapman is talking about here. Uh, the last one he did, folks, it was six months ago. I encourage you to get in. This is going to be a good one. Uh, we launched the Tiger's Den, which put kind of a pause on what we were doing there for a month or two. Basil's been itching to get in there. But, yeah, you got, you know, from what to prepare for in the year's end, what sectors to focus on, dressing up the charts in the Chapman Wave, a great webinar Basil did for 97 minutes, folks, back a year ago in April, just talking about his methodology. Uh, what impact will the tremendous increase in the public's participation in the stock market. He's talking retail traders in March of 2021, chart formations that worked in 2020. All of these folks you gain access to as a subscriber of the opening call. So check it out on the front page TFNN and you get to go live on Wednesday. And don't miss out. We got our man Basil Chapman. He's coming up in three minutes, folks, for the Tiger Technicians Hour. It's Monday. We got the Russell sneaking into the positive. You got the Dow only negative by 24. We got the NASDAQ 100 negative by 175. Thanks so much for starting your day with me, folks. Stay tuned for Basil.